A gay rights group marked Martin Luther King Jr. Day by kicking off an eight-day protest. The group called the Civil Union Civil Rights Movement wants equal rights legislation for same-sex couples in Hawaii. They held a candlelight vigil at the state capitol tonight to remember victims of hate crimes against gays and lesbians. Matthew Shepard. Will not be forgotten. Alton J. Anderson. Will not be forgotten. A group leader who marched with Dr. King in the 1960s gave the reason for starting the protests on he this day. He gave a gift of love and nonviolence to all marginalized and oppressed people in America and throughout the world as the right way to seek justice. Tomorrow, the group will begin an eight-day march around Oahu with a sunrise rally at Kapiolani Park. The march will end a week from today at the state attorney general's office. Group members plan to present a petition favoring civil unions, which would give rights similar to marriage for same-sex couples. Members of the civil unions civil rights movement gathered at the state capitol tonight for a candlelight vigil. Tonight's vigil kicks off an eight-day demonstration to protest civil rights violations against Hawaii's gay community. The vigil honored 66 victims nationwide, all who were killed because of their sexual orientation. A memorial certificate with the name of each of the 66 victims will be placed in a coffin and then carried around the island in a march for equality. This march will help to educate our community that we too have the same inalienable rights for life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. That we don't want to be denied our rights any more than black Americans wanted to be denied their rights. The march begins at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning at the Mohandas Gandhi statue at the entrance of the Honolulu Zoo. Marchers will cover more than 110 miles over seven days. A group of Christian ministers today objected to plans by gay rights activists to use tomorrow's Martin Luther King Jr. celebration as a springboard for a demonstration. The group is protesting civil rights violations against members of Hawaii's gay community. Today, leaders of several Oahu congregations said King was a Christian who preached from the Bible, and the Bible is opposed to homosexuality. Pastor Paul Kamanu charged that many members of the gay movement have criticized Christianity, and using King's name is hypocritical. But he, he believed the words of the Lord Jesus and, and uh, his Father God. And so I would believe he would, he would be offended by this. Because what, what they're really doing is trying to, trying to use something of God for their advantage. These ministers are so removed from understanding Dr. King. Dr. King was not a man who held homophobic views. There was a gay closeted man in the King ministry from the very beginning named Barrett Rustin. Dr. King never discriminated against him, never marginalized him, and put him out front as the architect of the March on Washington in 1963. Dr. King was not homophobic. Dr. Rodney Powell was one of the Nashville student protesters and knew Martin Luther King Jr. He says King's message of love and nonviolence extends to all people. The gay rights demonstration will last eight days and includes a march around the island of Oahu. Dozens of people gathered in Waikiki at sunrise this morning to start a seven-day march around the island. The march is sponsored by the Civil Union, Civil Rights Movement. It's a newly formed group that wants Hawaii and the nation to legalize same-sex unions. The marchers also seek an end to hate crimes. They're carrying a coffin filled with the names of 67 people who died because of intolerance. Four of those victims once called Hawaii home. These are people who have been killed because of who they are. They have been murdered because they are gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual, or perceived to be of a different gender or sexual orientation. The March for Equality continues tomorrow at 7 a.m. at the corner of Wai'alai and Kilauea. Advocates of gay and lesbian rights continued their march for equality today. The demonstration started on Tuesday. Today they were out in force in Waipahu. P Flag Oahu, parents, families and friends of lesbians and gays organized the march. Organizers say the march is a message to the public that Hawaii's gay citizens are here to stand up and fight for equality. Equality, justice and liberty for all. Equality. Justice and liberty.
Liberty for all. Participants plan to conclude their 110 plus mile trip around Oahu on Monday. Gay rights activists have ended their march for equality around Oahu. That march started last Tuesday to support civil unions, which would give marriage rights to same-sex couples. But as KITD4 News reporter Ben Gutierrez tells us, opponents of same-sex marriage plan to block those unions. The group Alliance for Traditional Marriage says gay rights supporters are pushing marriage under the name civil unions. This is an insult to the people of Hawaii. Marriage is marriage, no matter what you label it. Not everyone at the Mililani Mall downtown was ready to listen to the message. Everybody should be able to get married. This is so typical of homosexual activists where even though we disagree, they try to shut you down. They won't let you say your piece. Gabbard and his group left the mall just 15 minutes before the group Civil Union's Civil Rights arrived there to end their Around the Island march. The marchers included a Big Island woman who walked the entire route. One thing that you should know is that I'm heterosexual, and that's a question I get a lot. And so I really think that it's, it's not just a gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered community issue. I think this is a civil rights issue. Marchers were upbeat after the six-day, 110-mile experience. They also say that they believe they got their message across about equal rights and civil unions. My favorite sign was, um, hate is not a family value. And I could see cars go by and see, you know, on people's lips that they were reading it. And often people would go by, no response, read my sign and turn and wave or honk or things like that. Demonstrators also staged a civil union ceremony for four couples, including three lesbian couples. The group plans to give state officials a petition pushing for civil unions, a push traditional marriage supporters plan to block. Ben Gutierrez, KITV4 News. Also today, a seven-day march around the entire island to promote equality for gays and lesbians ended this afternoon with a rally and another civil union ceremony for four couples. But those who oppose such unions tried to share the spotlight there as well. Linda Hosek has more. Those protesting the seven-day march for equality were right on time for their press conference, and they thought they'd have the last word. Homosexual activists, what about equal homosexual activists are trying to pull the wool over people's eyes by again. God loves all his children. God loves everybody. Can you guys be quiet? You'll have your time in just a minute. All right. Yeah, we sure will. I agree with you 100 percent. The Alliance for Traditional Marriage saw the end of the march as a chance to remind people that 70% of voters two years ago rejected same-sex marriage. And for them, civil unions are the same thing. This is an insult to the people of Hawaii. Yes. Marriage is marriage, no matter what you label it. But the two sides began to shout at each other and chanted slogans at each other until the marchers turned the last corner of their march into Mililani Mall, only an hour late after 110 miles. And now it was their turn for slogans. No one should discriminate! And singing. But the highlight was a civil union ceremony. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. At Mililani Mall, Linda Hosek, News 8. The marchers ended by asking the Attorney General for an opinion on the state's obligation to provide the full rights and benefits of marriage to same-sex couples. 